Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I feel like crap. Like, I feel like garbage. Like, straight up garbage. Like, I don't know if it's due to the fact that I didn't sleep very well last night. Apparently, I had some freakouts last night um, with the whole night terrors. Uh, the new medication still hasn't really kicked in. I've only done it, used it twice so far. So it might take a little bit for it to get in my system. I, 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 I can't keep doing this. I cannot keep doing this. Like I, I have to get rid of this crap. Like I really do. Like I've been looking up um, stuff like on remedies, like you could do home remedies and nothing seems to be working and it only seems to get worse. Um, and I feel especially bad for Mrs. Bits. Like it's just, like it's taking a toll on all of us. Like I, I just hate it. Like, uh, and I feel so bad because you know she has to suffer from my problems, and I hate that because she doesn't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. Nobody has should have to go through dealing with this. So I'm, I'm glad she's hanging in there. Um, hopefully the medication kicks in and. Uh, we could finally just do something about it. I hope anyways. I hope so. Maybe, 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 maybe not. Uh, as far as everything else goes, with my job, job's doing okay right now. Uh, I'm kind of freaked out because there's budget cuts going on. Um, it's like it's stressing me out. Like it's part of my stress and it's probably why uh, some of these things are getting worse than what they need to be. Um, and I, I'm scared to death of losing my job. And, you know, just in case I've been doing things to try to help with that just in case, um, you know, budget cuts is a normal thing for, um, stuff like this, unfortunately, uh, bigger plants and corporations, they do layoffs and, all kinds of stuff this time of year, uh, especially during the holidays, uh, which is kind of sad, uh, but it's something that's, you have to really, you have to just be prepared for it. And I'm not completely prepared for it because, you know, we got all the bills coming up and which, you know, we're paid uh, fine. We have food uh, in a refrigerator, but you know, if somehow I lose my job, the layoffs then that's that's really gonna hurt so trying to rem remedy that that way something doesn't happen I at least have something to fall back on um, so I mean that's part of the reasons why I'm pretty damn stressed out it's just because you know what if you know next week like I lose my job because of layoffs and what if the budget cuts is IT you know, they can always go remote with IT. They don't have to have somebody on site. That's the bad thing about IT is automation and remote. Uh, if they can get it cheaper somewhere else, there's no point in having me. Uh, but I would assume they would want to have somebody on site, which, you know, I, I'm that person that's on site. Um, and I, you know, I hate, I would be scared to death if I, I don't even know. I love my job, but you have to be prepared, I guess. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But that's part of my stresses, and I think that's screwing with everything else. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells right now. Because um, I, I do not want to go back to where I was a few years ago. I don't. I do not. I do not want to be unemployed. I don't want to have to sell all my stuff. Again, I, I don't want to do any of that stuff. I do not want to do that. And, like, it scares me because, like, it, it's terrible losing everything. It's terrible being in that situation where, you know, you... It's just terrible. Like, I don't want to do it again. Like, I don't. And that's why I'm trying to work harder for that. I hope it's not going to be 
the case because that would be really disappointing. So, I mean, there are places that are hiring um, just in case. Um, if, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. So I don't have to end up in the same situation I had myself in a few years ago. Unemployment's a drag. Unemployment line's a drag. Hunting a job's a drag. Um, it's hard. It's hard. Really hard. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't really fall back on YouTube because, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can't really fall back on YouTube because I, I don't really make money on YouTube. Um, it's a hobby. Um, It'd be nice if my channel was bigger and I could do it full time, but I can't. I, I can't afford it. It's not feasible um, at all, at all. Like it's not. Um, but I'm sure you guys understand. I'm sure you guys have been through it too. Like it's just scary. You're not guaranteed your next paycheck. Like you never are. Something could happen, and they're just like, you know, fuck off. Um, but I'll stay stressed out until I don't have to be stressed out. So as long as we have benefits and all that stuff right now, I'm perfectly fine with it. I just got to get all that stuff figured out. Got to get my insurance stuff figured out for my medications. And uh, hopefully I can get back on track with everything. Hopefully things don't take a turn for worse. And I'm a, I'm a doomer. So I automatically think that things are going to be worse than what they are. So I don't know. All right, guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.